We're looking at radioactive substances here and nuclear radiation. Now a radioactive substance like uranium or plutonium, it can decay and release different types of nuclear radiation depending on the substance. It could release an alpha particle, it could release a beta particle or it could, when it decays, send out gamma radiation and they're the three types of nuclear radiation. Alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays have different penetrating powers and by this we can tell them apart. Alpha particles will be stopped by a sheet of paper or skin. A beta particle will go through a sheet of paper but will be stopped by a few millimetres of aluminium. Gamma rays can penetrate a sheet of paper and can penetrate aluminium but will be stopped by a few centimetres of lead. Gamma rays, beta particles and alpha particles are all ionising. This means that they can either remove electrons from atoms to form positive ions or add electrons to atoms to form negative ions. As a result, they can potentially cause cell damage and cancer. This is because they cause chemical reactions and can cause strands of DNA to break or change. And as I said, this can lead to cancer. You also need to know about uses of radiation. Alpha particles are used in smoke detectors. When smoke fills the detector, the air becomes less ionized and the alarm goes off. Beta particles can be used in machines to measure paper thickness. Gamma rays can be used for treating cancer as it can penetrate deep, deep into the human body. It can also kill microbes and so we can use it to sterilize equipment. And it can also be used to detect faults in welding.